Good morning, and welcome to Head Trip Air World Tour. Welcome back for those of you who have been flying along with us here in South America. And uh, for those of you just joining us, welcome uh, to our circumnavigation of the planet Earth, touching down on every nation in the process. Right now, we are sitting here in a fairly uh, quiet airstrip out in the valley of uh, Quevedo, Ecuador. We just came from Quito, which was just a fantastic, fantastic place. Uh, but uh, all, all good things must come to an end. And although I wouldn't say this is necessarily a bad thing, this looks like a fairly gorgeous uh, setting. This is the first time I've actually seen this setting. We came in, we came in at nighttime under the cover of dark and uh, didn't have a chance to see our surroundings um, other than a little lamp post at the very, very far end of that uh, airstrip. But it looks a little bit better this morning. Uh, it looks like the rave has settled down in the uh, lodge right there to the left. Uh, everybody's sleeping except a few of the tugmen. And uh, I think it's time to uh, to move on. Now, here's the good news. We're going we're, uh, we're gonna be heading back east, uh, although not uh, back uh, northeast to Quito. We're gonna be moving straight across the border uh, into Brazil. Now, we are, you're, you know, we're so close to Peru that you're probably saying, well, why don't you just pick up Peru on your way? Um, it's probably not a bad idea, to be honest with you. Um, let's see how close we are. Um, so here we are in uh, Quito. Let's see, we came down to Quevedo, so we're sitting right here in Quevedo. And, uh, you know, not terribly terribly far. We're about right here. Not terribly far from uh, Peru. Um, but actually, you know what I lied. We're not going into Brazil. We are going into Peru. I, I thought that was in Brazil because we were going into the Amazon. But you know what? Brazil doesn't have a monopoly on uh, Amazonian territory. So um, we're going into Peru. That makes me feel better because I, I, I felt like I was kind of cheating out Peru a little bit, uh, being so close, but uh, we're just going to move east, right? We're going to go straight east from, uh, well, I would say southeast, from Quevedo to Iquitos. Now, why Iquitos, you, you might say. You might not say, but um, I'm going to explain <clears throat> my rationale one way or the other. The idea is <clears throat> we're going to fly to the uh, head, from what I can tell at least, from Google Maps of the Amazon River, right? We've got a few tributaries coming in here, a um, couple rivers. This is the uh, Maranon River, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and this one is the, oh, I don't even know if I'm going to try this, Ukayali River, and then as you can see right there. Right there is where the Amazon River starts, as far as as far as far Google Maps. Now, I might be wrong. You can correct me. But I, I thought, let's just find the head of the Amazon River, right? And uh, Iquitos was the was the closest airport to that. We're just right up the road. From there, um, <clears throat> Amazon get, River gets kind of fun and crazy the further in you go. So I think we'll be flying over most of that. I think the plan is... Uh, Maybe what I'll do is I'll just fly from Quevedo down and follow the river. I think that sounds fun. I, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, in any event, Iquitos is our destination. Uh, a couple of things you might be interested in about Quevedo, uh, uh, Iquitos, not Quevedo. Uh, Iquitos, an ecoregion of flooded forest along the rivers of Brazil, Peru and Bolivia in the west of the Amazon biome. Here's a little snapshot. <clears throat> the forest is seasonally seasonally flooded up to seven meters, 23 feet, by whitewater rivers carrying nutrient-rich sediment from the Andes. Uh, <clears throat> we know those Andes have plenty of uh, nutrient to carry. Uh, we just came from there. We're going to go back into them, actually. The meandering rivers often shift course, creating a complex landscape 
of oxbow lakes, marshes, levees, and bars, and grassland shrubs and forests in different stages of succession. During the extended flood periods, fish enter the forest in search of fruit. Yeah, it's amazing. The, Ver the Varzea is accessible by navigable rivers that run through it and has suffered from extensive deforestation to extract timber and create pasture for livestock. So, got a few uh, problems out that direction, it sounds like, but it uh, sounds like a, just a fantastic uh, place to fly a plane. Uh, better get there before they chop all the trees down. What do you say? Uh, let's just pop back into our simulator here. I've got uh, the <clears throat> banana themed Cessna Citation Longitude today. Uh, this is just a cool play. Come on. That's just a cool theme. Um, <clears throat> Kenmore Air theme. Uh, anyways, we'll, we'll We'll leave you to your own discretion on that one, but uh, I think it's time to fly. What do you think? Uh, so let's hop in the cockpit. Let's work on a flight plan um, and uh, get to moving, shall we? <sighs> okay. Got to get my uh, got to get my game day mind uh, together. Got to what? What do they call it in? Uh, Got to. Uh, get my head in the game is what they say that's at least what the, the way they uh, referred to it in the, the uh, high school musical so that's that's what we're gonna go with uh, I'm gonna get my head in the game here let's get ourselves some battery power and uh, I'm going to put our standby power on. And I'm going to pop my APU on real quickly. Let's see if our APU's doing its job, and it certainly looks to be. APU's fired up there. We'll clear our warnings. Looks like tests have passed. Now that the APU's up to 100%, I think I'm gonna pop the APU generator on. And uh, we better get some lights on before we uh, get called on our indiscretions here. So let's pop up and get our recog and pulse lights on. What say ye? They're always hard to kind of uh, see out here in the daytime for whatever reason. Oh, somewhere out there. All right. Well, the lights are on, so there we have it. We'll turn on our Anna Collision as well. And uh, I think that's going to do it for now. Let's uh, come and turn our engines on. In order to do that, obviously, we'll need a little bit of fuel. And... Uh, I think I'm going to arm my ground spoilers while I am thinking about it. Let's come down here. Flip the switch. Look at the switch, just like uh, just like ACDC says, right? Maybe we should be listening to a uh, flick of the switch right now. Okay. Engines spooling up. Looks to be. Okay, and uh, 
Let's clear our master caution. <clears throat> Looks like it brought in our flight plan, uh, which is nice, from uh, my setup in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so that kind of makes things uh, pleasant. Let's see what we got here through the mountains. Now this is a straight shot. I still have never, never once in my life figured out how to uh, to scroll to uh, you know navigate left and right on these maps. So someone please help me if you can uh, give me some instruction there. Or I guess I can just Google it. But uh... okay, engines online. Sun is starting to rise in the sky above the tree line. I uh, got the mountains straight ahead. It's going to be a beautiful day today. Got <clears throat> a few scattered clouds, but nothing, uh, nothing too intense, I wouldn't think. So it should be uh, pleasant for everyone. All right. Let's make sure uh, I don't have throttle set to max. That's always a mistake I make. Uh, kind of a rookie mistake, of course, but... Okay. All right, I think we're ready for flight. Well, I mean, we got the flight plan in there. Let's just see what it looks like. Apparently, it brought it in from... Mm, not so much. I mean, this acts like there's a flight plan. But the flight management system, not so much. So let's put it in. SEQE as our origin. It's got that. <laughs> our destination, though. Well, I don't know. No, this is in here. I don't know what I'm thinking. This is in here. Yeah, this whole thing's in here. And maybe it just took some time to populate. Either that or I'm losing my mind. And that is very, very, very possible. Uh, our procedures. Departure. We don't have any procedures yet, so let's see if we have any available. None. None. And none. Okay. You know, that's a no-go. That yeah, was a little anticlimactic. I was really looking forward to maybe setting that up. I don't think if it's not going to give me departures, I'm certainly not confident it's going to give me any arrivals. Ah, arrivals actually in there. That's that's fun. Okay, we're going to be coming on runway six, and that's going to be coming uh, heading a direction of what? Um, you know, like northeast. So maybe we do come down in from the river and then then come up to uh, you know. Iquitos. So, fair enough. All right. I don't think I need to do anything. I think it's all here. Arrivals in. Departure just, it's just not going to happen. That's fine. That's fine. I will say this. Uh, as I load it up, we're going to have to look for uh, our first waypoint uh, because I think our first waypoint is OAS, and it's it's a ways away actually. Now that I think about it, it's it's well into the Amazon, so we'll 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 cover that ground when we get there. All right, time for time for some uh, flying. I think let's call in. Uh, our departure. I don't think our uh, flight management system showed which runway we're taking off, so we'll just let ATC. Uh, what kind of what kind of crack am I smoking? There's no ATC. Well, you know what? I don't know what's going on in that house. That could be nightclub by night, ATC by day. Uh, you know, no one really knows. But let's tune in and let's at least announce our taxi. We'll be respectful enough to uh, let the folks around know we're heading out. 
And I think we're going to head out uh, to the east. So we'll get there eventually. But I think we're okay to do a, a quick taxi. Do we have taxi lights on this thing? We sure do. So let's turn on our taxi lights. And... Uh, Look at our trim. The trim looks to be okay. And let's take off the parking brake and let's move forward. Trying not to clip this guy too. Let's see, where, who, where do I have more room? On this side? Uh, I'll go around that van. I'll go around the van. We'll try to steer clear of him as much as we can. Fuel. I think we'll have enough fuel for our trip, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay. I'm not going to have a t uh, dedicated taxiway so much, so we'll just come on down. Not sure which runway I got uh, clearance and I hope I'm going the right direction here. Let's give ourselves some room to wiggle. I'm going to pause for a moment, put on our parking brake for just one more quick second, and uh, let's just make sure some of our navigation tools are set up here. Looks like we are running a course of about 183 degrees taken off from here. Uh, let's see, just one second here. Let's see. So our heading bug, I'm going to move our heading bug to line up with our runway. Just so we start off on a good foot. Ho hopefully we got clearance for runway 18. I'm starting to have... Oh yeah, 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 that's right. We were we were saying we're taxiing the 36, so we, 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 we took the wrong direction, but... We're going to do uh, 18. I mean, if you add 18 twice, it's 36, so that's close. Um, there we go. Uh, we're going to have to get over some mountains. I'm going to put our altitude uh, up at about... I mean, those mountains got to be like 15,000 because... Uh, Keto was nine, you know. So I'm guessing fifteen thousand will we'll go sixteen. Sixteen four. That sounds like a good round number. Our uh, vertical speed bug. That doesn't come on until we activate it, so we do need flight director though. says it's on. I don't see it uh, popping in front of me. There it is. There it is. Just took a, a minute for it to figure out that I was breaking protocol going the wrong way down the runway, so. Uh, let's clear our warnings. <clears throat> Everything looks good other than our parking brake, so I think we're ready to <coughs> excuse me, take off. Does it sound right to you? Okay, I think that's it for now. That works. Here we go. 
and we'll get going on autopilot uh, sooner than later this time, see if we can get that uh, working the way we want it to. There we go. Both engines in sync. Uh, one thing I forgot to do, and I will do it now, I'm going to give ourselves a flap. or else we're going to be in trouble. Goodness. Let's get our landing gear up. That was a little exciting. Just one moment. I'm going to uh, go back in and uh, let's set our autopilot on and see if this thing will... cooperate. Okay, we're sinking. So let's get our vertical speed. And that's gonna set us at about... Oops, going too fast, so let's slow down. I'm going to bring my flap in. Don't need that anymore. And I'm going to move our heading off to the east. We'll click the heading autopilot and let's start moving. Okay, that's a little dangerous. Nah, I guess we're okay. It looked like I was losing altitude, but uh, I think we're okay. Still climbing. Not very fast, albeit. Only about, uh, what, 1,900 feet per minute? But we're going up. And I'm going to move our heading just a little bit further left so we can go due east. Maybe not due east, maybe southeast. Maybe a little southeast. Got a little bit of cloud cover today as we head back towards the Andes Mountains from whence we came, heading into Peru. Beautiful valley here in Ecuador. Say goodbye to Quevedo. It served us well for our overnight stay. But we have exciting things to see ahead. So we head back into the mountains. And into the sun for that matter. Uh, time of day? I want to say it's going to be roughly... I think we set time of day at... Uh, 8 o'clock or something like that. I could be wrong. Is there any way for me to... Well, I guess I can. I'm, got, I'm sure I have some instruments giving me time. We are not climbing very fast, though. I will say that. So, I need to give this thing some... Oomph. And let's uh, fix our speed bug. That's our problem. Or our, not our speed bug, but our vertical speed. We'll move it up to about 2,000. Hmm. Or twenty eight hundred, whatever. That's that's a little that's a little steep. Let's come back down a little bit. Two thousand works for me. That's gonna get us over the mountains. And we're gonna stop around. What do we say? Sixteen. I don't even know if we need to go up to sixteen. To be honest with you. Well, there are some taller mountains back there. Let's keep it at sixteen for now. Okay, 
into the Amazon we go. Okay, that's as far out as we're going to get a zoom. One thing I failed to do is set my barometer. That was a little scary. Let's... That's because we didn't have an ATIS, so... Maybe we can get one. We can request IFR clearance, and I say we do that. Hmm, squawk. How do I... I forgot in this plane how do I change my squawk. Maybe it'll automatically change my squawk. Two nine or nine or two is my altimeter, so that's good news. Heading of ninety five. Right now we're at heading of uh, one twenty seven. I think following ninety five. Is that going to take us where we want to go? That the, uh, OAS is the uh, that's where we wanted to connect with, but uh, for whatever reason, that seems seems like a little too far direct east, so I guess we'll turn 95 and see. You know, we can always turn back. I'm happy to follow. Oh, wow. We better watch ourselves. we got some mountains coming up here, and I don't know if we're climbing fast enough. We're going to have to uh, adjust here. I'm going to give it a full oomph, and I'm going to do a little more aggressive climbing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this looked so good, and, and uh, let's break autopilot. Let's break autopilot, for heaven's sakes. Those mountains were more aggressive than I uh, anticipated. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, we might pull out of this. That was a near disaster. That was a near disaster. Okay, that's why you don't just sit and, you know, look at your uh, your phone while you're driving, right? Isn't that kind of uh, the obvious answer to that dilemma? I'm going a little faster than I want to. I'm not in safe territories. I'm probably beating up my plane, but I don't dare reduce speed. I don't think it's safe to reduce speed. So I'm going to... It's From what I recall, this is a fairly sturdy plane. I'll start to reduce my speed right now, but holy crap. Let's set our trim. That was half the problem. Oh my goodness. Okay, now let's bring our speed down. Okay, this is... Autopilot head. Okay. Hold tight, guys. For heaven's sakes. Okay. We're going to be coming down. Wow. Wow, that was, well, that was pretty ridiculous is what that was. Let's see if we can get some trim set to reasonable levels again. Autopilot threw me for a, through a, for a little loop there. Got one of the volcanoes ahead of us, though. That's kind of cool. Okay, okay. Can we start over? Uh, not, uh, not over, but can we... Uh, well, you know what I mean. Autopilot's off. I don't uh, dare turn it on for the moment. Do we have any big, big... I mean, we're, we're up to 21. 
Let's. We need to come down to 14, so. We'll do 14. And, uh, not approach. Altitude mode, let's put on AP. And, uh, here we go. Vertical speed mode. Uh, we need to. That's too. That's a little more reasonable. Maybe a thousand feet. Altitude. 14. Oh, 21. Come on. That's not what I wanted. 14. Okay, let's try this again. Let's expedite. Let's go down a thousand feet, maybe fifteen hundred per minute. I got that volcano to deal with, but we can move around him pretty easy. Altitude, altitude, altitude. I mean, I really want to just... Jeez, that, that... I don't know why that just keeps... I'm trying to expedite my descent, but every time I go to altitude mode, it wants to default back up to 21,000 feet. Let's try this one more time. One more time. Now, if I hit this, it's going to go back to... Yeah, it is going to go back to 21,000. That's just weird. Okay. Not sure why, but uh, maybe that's what my flight plan called for. Either way, I'm going to go down just to vertical speed. That's going to be the more practical way to get down where we need to be. Let's make sure 14,000 is going to suit our needs with Mr. Lava up ahead. Tan are we in? And we're going too fast again, obviously. Uh, it's because of our trim. It's it's autopilots like wanting to mess with our trim, and our trim's being messed with because we're on vertical speed. Now that makes sense, but uh, maybe throttle back. Maybe that's our problem. We're just going too fast. And. We'll be skimming that volcano. Plenty of lava flowing around these parts, you can tell. That's a, that's a better speed. Okay. That's looking a little better. I'm going to bring my vertical speed just up a bit, just in case we have to autocorrect here. And I'm going to move our heading. Just make sure we go around this mountain. I don't know. That's uh, getting dangerously close to those peaks. I'm curious how that's going to pan out. I mean, I really don't want to go down to 14.1, I can tell you that. I know it wants me to go down to 14.1, but I just am having second thoughts on that. I don't know. We might make it. Looks like we're almost through the worst of it. I 
the detail hasn't really fleshed in on these mountains yet. I'm sure we can get better detail than we've got, but it uh, hasn't loaded in for whatever reason, so... We're still rolling with the uh, old, uh... Old school technologies, I guess. Maybe on the other side of the mountains it'll pick up again. I mean, let's be honest, the Andes and the, the Amazon is a big place, so... I'm sure everything's not, uh charted in 4K, you know, at this point, but we'll see. Getting a little more detail as we come in. Actually, we have uh, the Dark Tower ahead of us. Another little bug in the program, whatever the heck that is. Yeah, another little, another little bug. Maybe that's like, uh... What is that from Lord of the Rings? Isengard? I can't remember. I don't know. There's just too many words that sound the same in that series. Okay, let's look away from that. That's just making me feel uncomfortable. Okay, so... Let's get down into the valley. I think, I think, now I, I couldn't see ahead. I, there, there may be one more ridge of mountains. Uh, what does my Navigraph tell me? Well, let's just see if there's anything that would even give me any kind of indication. Mm, no, nah, it's not going to tell me. It's not going to tell me. Now, with that said, we are starting to reach the, uh, you know, one of the, one of the tributaries, I think. I'm off to maybe we'll even see it off to the right here. I mean, we're right. We're right at the peak of it. Right? So here's where those uh, rivers start to accumulate water. So far off to the oh, yeah. We, I mean, we can see it ahead, right? So uh, this is where it all starts, guys. This is where all the uh, Amazon water is uh, coming from. See the river ahead. River to our left. Coming off of the peaks. Just aggregates from all those mountains and hills and so forth. I don't mind if we follow that river. That's that's kind of uh, a fun approach to do this. Did someone call my name? Did did they call Head Trip? I don't recall. Let me look. They want us at eleven thousand. All right. I'm I'm okay. I'm okay at this point. I'm going down. So let's do it. Let's start to drop. Not a problem. I think we'll have a little better view once we get a little below the clouds, too. Although those, those clouds are pretty low, so that's hard to say. Some water coming off that way. I mean, we're, we're pretty well doing a beeline to Iquitos at this heading. I mean, this is 
pretty direct going this way. It's going to take us along rivers. Uh, it'll have us actually cross the uh, Makarsari, M M Makusari River. And then it'll take us over further to the east to the... Oh, that, that river is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know the name of that river in uh, Navigraph. Uh, we got another Han San Jacinto around there, though. Um, Rio Tigre. That's that's it, Rio Tigre. So we're going to be dealing with a couple rivers on our way. So I'm just going to keep this heading because this looks this looks pretty good. We're not into the flatlands quite yet, but we're getting there. Trying to figure out if we're in Peru yet. Let's just look. No, we are not. We're still in Ecuador. Hey, we're about down to 11, so let's go back in and get our vertical speed settled in to zero. There we go. Our heading looks good. Vertical speed looks good. Flight director's on and happy. I think we're on our way, guys. A few little minor hiccups along the way. So what you're seeing over to the left, the larger river, that is uh, Rio Pastaza. And then uh, right below us, you know, some of these rivers, I don't know if I'm going to get a name to that river. I don't think uh, I'd have to have Google Maps to give me that. Because there's just a bunch of them. There's just a bunch of these small little tributary rivers. See our waypoint coming up, OAS. Um, we took a, a slightly less direct route to it, but we're at least getting there. Had a heading 119.
Now, off to the right a little bit. Kind of ahead and to the right, there should be a tiny, tiny little town called uh, Taisha. Or Taisha, I don't know. I think Taisha is, uh, I was looking, I was looking for it to show up right along that valley. Well, I guess there it is. There it is, coming into view. I'm gonna have to zoom in there. It's a little hazy today, so it's, uh, tough to see some of these landmarks, but right down there is the tiny little village of Taisha. be a little more to it. Let's scan up a little bit. Not much. Not much. Yeah, certainly not much. Maybe we should have thought twice about flying in the morning. We're flying right into the sun. That's the problem. Mm, not right into the sun. Getting very, very close to the Peru border. Where's Machu Picchu? Is that in Peru? It's uh, probably down in those Andy Mountains on the uh, western coast uh, edge of the country, but. Um,
We're making progress to Kitos. Still got a ways to go. But it won't be long before we cross the border. It won't be long at all. Just up ahead a little bit. As the river snakes around. Sorry, that was my fault. I'm scanning Spotify at the moment, so... Just hit the wrong button. Now, I did just notice that uh, we are going incredibly slow, uh, which is uh, certainly my bad. So, let's pick up the pace a little bit. still have our vertical speed mode on, so <clears throat> plane should take care of the tram while we pump the throttle a little bit. Let's go. 
That's getting a little picky. I'm just gonna pull back just a tad on the throttle. We can drop just a little bit. We can put altitude mode at uh, 11. 11 precisely. Or 11 1. That's fair enough. Tug, a little tiny tug on the yoke. Head trip one contact Lima Center on one two eight decimal one. Good day. Oh, they lost patience with us. That's too bad. I mean, that's hardcore. Well, we may as well pump the jam then. I mean, let's just get our speed back up. Um, I'm not sure, every, you know, I'm still working that out. Um, I mean, 360 feet, you know, or meters or whatever, I, 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 that's a little, that's a little draconian in my book. But uh, they didn't like it. They didn't like it. So we lost our uh, IFR guidance. We can always get it back, I guess. I wonder if they have like a cool down period where they're like, mm -mm, no, I'm not talking to you for a while. Uh, no, we're still on. We're still on IFR though. They haven't canceled IFR. Are they okay. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. I misinterpreted that. I thought that they were canceling IFR. They were just passing us on to Peru. That's all. That's all. And by the way, we just crossed the border, so that would make sense. Yeah, I thought that was a little hardcore for them to drop us just with 300 and so feet variance, but Okay, so we're going to cross over top of the river at this point in time. Rio Pastaza. They're not going to give up. They're relentless. So let's just see if we can work that out. Vertical, vertical speed seems to be the only way I can accomplish that goal, really. I mean, let's be honest. Hey, why is it not cooperating? It's pulling itself off of vertical speed. The moment I see it'll go up, but it doesn't want to go down. Why is that? Is it because is it because the altitude is set? Maybe that's why. Maybe if I put that down, then the vertical speed will cooperate. 
Now let's go to vertical speed mode. Yeah. I'm happy with our speed for the moment. I just, uh... We're still on a great heading for Iquitos. I think we're going to drop altitude. I wonder if we can request a lower altitude because... Oh, whoops. We went a little too far. Hang on. I was staring at my navigraph. Apologies. There we go. 11,000. No one can complain now. Our speed is right there where we want it. 324 knots, actually 378. Uh, ground speed, we could probably get faster than that if we were higher in the uh, air, but uh, we're, we're going to keep it low today. That's, that's, that's pleasant enough for me. Uh, we watched uh, Free Solo again. For those of you who haven't seen that movie, it's pretty great. Uh, free Solo climb of the uh, El Capitan in California. So it got me wanting to kind of fly through Yosemite, but Yosemite is a long, long ways away. So uh, that'll probably have to wait for another time unless we just take a full-blown long haul back to uh, mainland U.S., but um, we'll put that on ice for a little bit. I'm going to request lower altitude. I mean, it's looking really, really flat going forward. I think we've got out of the mountains. So we're going to just skim low down here if we can. What do we want to go down to? So we're at 11. What do you think? If we go down to 7? Is that too too aggressive? Let's just go down to 8 for now. Wonderful. Oh, we still have a little bit of elevation. Hopefully we won't regret that. Let's go ahead and... Start moving down. We'll put our altitude eight. Step the dark to reach his own never think twice 
Going just a little fast. Let's pull back on the throttle. I guess it would be helpful to uh, find out what the elevation of Iquitos is. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that for a moment while we work down. I'm a little worried that uh, um, I'm a little worried that maybe I ought to wait till I get down to 8,000. We got time. I think I've got to lower the altitude here in order to continue our descent. at 8,000.
Okay, now I think I can go in and uh, let's let's take a quick scan here in uh, Navigraph and find out uh, Iquitos, what elevations we're dealing with right here. So let's see, can I click it? Maybe I thought I maybe I thought I could, but clearly I can't. Let's uh, type it. Let's see if it comes up. I think this is the one right here. Uh, no, it's this one. Let's favorite this one. And it looks like that is at an elevation of 306 feet. So, okay. It does come down pretty low, almost close to ground le uh, sea level. It does have IFR capabilities, which is good news. It's got an 8,200 foot runway, which is why I chose it. I did look at that in advance. Let's take a quick gander at its, uh, what we have. Uh, let's look at the, let's look at the. We're coming in on six. So we'll, we'll be in pretty good shape to do that, given our trajectory. At 8202, excuse me, 8202 feet long, or meters, I should say, and 306 feet above ground level. Ground level. Oh boy. Meters, feet, sea level, ground level. I'm guessing you know what I mean, but maybe not. Um, approaches, we've got an ILS approach, which is wonderful, wonderful, on six. I still got to figure out what the difference is between like 11-1 and 12-1. One of these days I'll figure that out. I'm going to try ILS. I mean, this is the perfect opportunity, right? Because this is flat land. Let's see how this works. Coming in through uh, Panoon. I think that I, I think Panoon is one of the uh, waypoints. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. And we should be at 3,000 feet by the time we get there. So we're going to want to hit ILS at 3,000 feet at Panoon. And we'll see if we can get this thing to bring us down. Now that I now that I think about that, I don't I don't know. I've never I've never successfully done that in this plane. So for what it's worth. Runway sixty-four degrees, runway six. All right. So at Panoon 3000, by the time we get to Cyrol, it's 2300 feet. And then uh, 64 degrees down, I guess, or is that the, uh, that 64 is the, uh, Heading, going into okay. Let's we'll see if I can figure that out. Five miles, six miles, Panoon. Okay. Well, we'll we'll try to do it. Let's see if any of these arrivals make any sense to us. Uh, we got Ronson, Majaj, and Tapir, and any one of those is going to work out okay for us, but. Which one did we have in our system? That's the question of the day. And first of all, how close are we? Let's just figure out where we are for the moment. Just so we don't. Okay. So we're coming. We're up here, and we're on our way down. We might. You know what? I might want to uh, change our heading 
a little further to the right, so we kind of come in on the outside of these approaches. I've got to figure out... And what I'm referring to here is we're up here, traveling here. If I draw a straight line, we're going to come up a little short on those arrivals. I think I'm going to turn my heading so that I kind of hit the head of these arrivals. And, and then we'll take it from there. And then we'll figure out which one we're on, Ronson, Tipir, or Majaz. By the way, just so you're aware, uh, the river right to the left of you is in fact Rio Tigre. That's it, that little winding ri river. Najaz one. That's where we're coming in. So I feel like... I mean, yeah, we're definitely going to... This is going to do that for us. I mean, this is going to take us from Vudku down to Majaz. So... Yeah, that works. So it's going to be this, uh, it'll be this red one right here. This is the one we're going to come in on. So really, I mean, if we look at the river, let's see how this works. Follow the river, follow the river down, follow the river. I mean, literally the river is going to take us. I mean, we'll have to, we'll actually have to branch right here as we get close. Uh, but the river will take us to the beginning of that arrival and then we'll head up. And um, that should take us pretty close to... Will that take us all the way to Panoon? It will. That'll take us all the way to Panoon, which is where we pick up here, right? Is that Panoon? Yep. Yep. And then we turn 64 degrees at Panoon. And we should be at 3,000 feet by that point in time. So, I don't know. Let's cross our fingers that we... And keep this together. Okay. We're on our way. If we just follow the river, you know. I guess we can use our heading to follow the river. speed just a little bit more. Let the plane keep us level flight. It's going to have to settle in there. We're gaining a couple feet, but I think the plane should do its job in keeping us level. Committing to a pretty um, ambitious trek, because if we're going into the Amazon, um, you know, Brazil is a, a very, very wide country, and to get over to like Rio de Janeiro, uh, that's ambitious for sure. Feeling of you 
a little too fast. Let me pull back. I'm always struggling to get that speed just right. adjust our heading at this point in time just a little bit to the south try 135 degrees and see if that uh, gets us close to where we want to be. It looks pretty close. say maybe even 145 degrees. track at 150 and see how that goes. Just give ourselves one more degree. I'm just trying to draw imaginary line. Ah, that looks pretty good actually. I'm gonna leave it there. Actually, I could probably pull off of that just a little bit. I'm gonna pull it back to 47. Set up our approach. No, we don't want to do VOR. That is not what we want to do. We want to do ILS 6. I want to load and activate that. That should get us set up. You can see the additional... Uh, we zoom in on here. Can't zoom in too much or we'll lose it, but uh, you can see the additional procedures. That's going to take us right up through Panoon. 
and then straight in 64 degrees to the airport will be 3,000 feet elevation here and uh, geez should go fairly well but I don't know we'll see now setting up the localizer I think all we got to do is hit the approach button I don't know if there's other procedures to get the localizer locked in I'm just not seeing anything else so my plan is just to hit approach mode about when we hit uh, maybe just a little bit before Panoon That's the only thing I can think of doing. And let's hope it all works. How are we doing on fuel? Fuel, fuel, fuel. Guess we better look. Uh, looks like we're still doing okay. Got 850 gallons total. So far, so good. Looks like we're right on track. Right on track to Major Ass. Actually, you know, I, I would say we're up maybe a degree or two too heavy, so let's pull it back. Let's just see what happens if we pull it back another degree. 146. It says DTK 145, so I'm being dumb. Let's just let's just do what it says. 145. ETE, 8 minutes and 25 seconds, 15 nautical miles away, and it looks like we're going to be arriving at about 13.30 uh, Zulu time. I don't know what local time compares to uh, UTC here in uh, Peru. I could probably push the throttle just a tad. Let's just see where that puts us. That might put us up here above our speed cap, but not by much. Should we take a look outside? A lot of clouds. Hopefully that doesn't become any type of hindrance in our approach and our landing. Looks like Spotify is just putting us in a chill mood today. And here we come, guys, coming into the chart. Scoot you up here, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna give us 13, 13,000 feet here. But I'm gonna stick at eight. No reason to go up. 
I see no reason to go up, since, especially since we've got clearance from ATC to be a little lower. And it's going to put us at 8 there anyways. And then from there to there, we're going to drop from 8 to 3. And the trick... Uh, I'm sure there's math here involved. But the trick is uh, how fast... It's 20 miles. 20 miles... And we needed to drop 5,000 feet. So here you go, fifth grade math. We're going to take, uh, is that 4,000 feet a minute? Oh, 4,000 feet a minute. Sorry. Let's start over. i got to drop 5,000 feet in 20 miles. So 1,000 feet per mile. What I don't know is how long it takes me to go 20 miles. Now we got knots into it and my brain just shut off. I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Either that or I just don't have the energy to do the calculations. So that's the tricky part. It's just to end. Oh, wait. This is going to be fun. Landing. ILS in this. I mean, we'll be grateful for the ILS. And we're almost there. We're almost... Uh, we're almost to Mejaz, but check this out. We're we're we're, we're dealing with some uh, some weather issues here. Got to get Mr. Eubank on the line and uh, see what's up with this. Hmm. Maybe once we get down to three, we'll be, we'll be okay. But at 8,000 and well below, we've got some issues. Should be should make for a fun landing, though. I just hope I land. I mean, the good news is I can do go-rounds like no nobody's business here because it's just flatter than flat. So go-rounds should be uh, fairly easy. Right, right as we hit this river, we are going to cut pretty sharply to the left, going 24 degrees. Over to 24 degrees once we hit the river. Get our game face on. Let's sit up in our seat. Sit up tight. Don't slouch. ourselves a little bit more of a zoom here. Okay, that should be, that should work with us. Twenty-four degrees. Look how well we lined that up. Just spot on to Mejaz, right? Spot on. Give that kid a skill award. Twenty-four degrees coming up. Here's the river. I would tell you what river that is, but I just need to concentrate for a second here. Okay, here we go. May as well start making the turn now. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna need to go sharp. And there's 24 degrees. We overshot it just a, just a little bit, so we'll need to come back a little longer than I was hoping to make that turn, so overshot it just a little bit. Slow, slow moving plane, I guess. I'm gonna need to come back closer to like uh, 10 degrees to compensate for our line here. Last thing we want to do is um, lose our focus while trying to realign ourselves with our plan here. We don't really want to lose our focus there. So we're catching up here a little bit. Um, we overshot the, uh, the trajectory, but once we hit QT 485, we're already at 8,000 feet, which is good. Um, that, and then we just move to 25 degree trajectory and uh, life gets good from that point on, I think. I've got a warning, and what is that? My parking brake? I have no idea how a parking brake got applied, but I'll take that off. No idea how that happened. But it did happen, so I ought to, ought to not complain about it. I know you think I'm overshooting, but I think this line is just slightly different than uh, my Navigraph line. So I'm going to I'm going to trust Navigraph for a moment. But I am going to go up to uh, about 21 degrees. Unless I'm not calibrated in my plane for whatever reason. That's 24 right there. It's going to get us close. I'm just curious why that waypoint does sh doesn't show up here. Okay, that's pretty darn close. I'll show you where we're at. 8,000 feet, and now it's time to start descending, right? As we hit, uh, we need to start going down now. So let's do that. Good evening, passengers. This is a pre boarding wow. announcement for the Seeing that's, Air World Tour. How do we stop that? See, that's what happens when uh, you get nervous. It always happens, but I need, to, I need to start losing altitude. Every single time I just start losing it. Okay, altitude needs to come down to three. At least, at least three, I should say. And let's start coming down. I'm going to go down faster than slower because I don't want to blow this. We gotta be at 3,000 by the time we get to Panoon. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull back on my. Um, see it. Okay, I can't talk right now, guys. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, they're passing us over. I'm not going to let that panic us too much. I'm 
going to put on a... I feel like I should put on a flap. Well, not, not four flaps. One flap, please. One flap, please. I'm going to go down even a little further, a little, little further, a little faster. And I, I wonder if I ought to. Sure, I'll put on my landing gear, too. Because I really do want to get down to 3,000. I don't want to, I don't want to blow this. And while I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna pop my approach mode on. That's not happening. I think I'm gonna get myself down to uh, 3,000 here. In time, because we're hauling. We're hauling. I think I can slow it down just a tad. Oops. Yeah, I just overshot it. That was, was brilliant. Didn't want to do that. Vertical speed, bro. Vertical speed. Oh, no. There ain't no no for vertical speed happening here. Looks like we're we're going manual at this point a little bit. Altitude. Come on. Altitude up to three. I mean, I can go 24, I guess. Okay, this is where we're going to turn to 64 degrees. And I'm going to start making the turn pretty close to now because it's clearly taking longer. Slowly. Approach mode is still on, so that's good. We're about at 2,000 feet, so I'm a little low, but I, I'd rather be low than high. I'm not expediting anything, bro. Oh, I'm stalling. Let's put a little bit of heat on my speed. I don't want to climb. So approach mode is on. I, I, I'm going to look for any indication of uh, the localizer. I, I, I'll be honest, I don't quite know. Do I need to be in VNAV mode? I mean, who knows? Let's just take a look and see where the airport is. There it is. I'm going to move over to my approach diagram. And let's see if we can capture, capture this. We're on good target. Let's see, 64, 64, 64. We're going to need to move up to 64 about now. 64. Mm, 
may have overshot it again just a little bit. Maybe not. That's pretty good. Wheels down, right? My wheels are down. My speed looks decent. I'm just a little bit right of the localizer. I just don't see if I hit approach mode again. Am I on the glide slope? I think I'm going manual from here. Let's just turn off AP. Autopilot's going down. Okay. Here we go, guys. I think I'm gonna put on a, another flap. One of these days I gotta figure out what the right time to initiate those flaps are, but. to do this too fast. Come on. Let's get lined up just a little bit better than we are. And I think this is where we want to be, guys. Oh, come on, come on. Don't crash. This might be a go-around. This might be a go-around. That was... Wow! I felt that was a pretty... I felt that was a pretty... I mean, it wasn't soft landing, but I didn't feel like it was a... You know, life-ending landing. Hmm... Well, I'm just realizing you didn't see it anyways. Hmm. That is no fair. It is absolutely no fair. Uh, I apologize. Like, I, There's just too much going on at that last five-minute stretch uh, that I can't remember to, you know, change... The stream deck to the right screen. Uh, I was probably going too fast. It was probably my speed. Man, I thought that was going really, really well for a very long time. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, well, with that said... I mean, what? I don't know what else there is to say. We just, we just missed the mark on that one. So I don't know. Maybe we head back down towards Machu Picchu instead. Um, we'll figure that out. But in any event, still want to thank you for joining us. Uh, some you win, some you lose. And some you uh, rinse and repeat over and over again until you get it right. So that's what we're going to have to do. We'll have to look back at the video and see what we did wrong. There was, I mean, it wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I did think that we could pull it off. And I, maybe I should have done a go around, but I don't know. All righty. Well, appreciate it. Thank you for joining us here at Head Trip Air. We hope you come back in the next episode and hopefully we'll have a little bit better luck with that go around. And uh, we'll just figure out next time where our destination is going to take us. So, uh, see ya soon, and we'll catch you on the flip side.